Well, Tango Thriller last weekend, of course, Sports Dream Rovers, who were top, drew with Oldham Athletic, who were bottom. What a beast of a match that was. We'll take a look at it. All of it next. <laughs> That's right, good fans giving a prediction video today. We're looking forward to match number 22, I think, over in the League 2. And we'll get to it in just one second. When you're there, smash your subscribe and get your anger today. All things League 2 related, Pepper Rose related, world football related. We're going to all hear, boys. Under one roof. He bloody knows. That's right. Of course, Santa knows if you've been good or bad in the prediction league. We'll have a look at the latest in just a second. Of course, big shout out to my VIPs. They are the pay uh, tree on the second field. And of course, you could become the next member of the Patreon. Of course, for as little as a can of Coke or Bimto, whatever it is. Uh, check out the link down below. Patreon.com forward slash Rose. It'll be a big old boost for Christmas for the channel. Of course, uh, the wonders are there. And of course, you'll get access because we're going to I'm gonna be working on uh, providing the, the prediction data to those guys. Live league tables and all that. That kind of stuff which we did have last season but we're going to make them available for patrons once i get a little bit of time on my hands but anyway so let's have a little look and show of course how you got on were you he bloody knows if you were good and of course we'll all know if you've been good this week with the prediction league in just a second barrow picked up a two winner whenever swindon of course who were tumbled down to seventh in the table bradford picking up a 2-2 draw against sutton united bradford dogs don't know what kind of season they're in 14th in the moment bristol rovers respond with a 4-2 win over rochdale they're up to uh 15th in the table now ecstasy with a 1-0 loss to tramier up to eight Exeter, of course, remaining in the top five. Steamage with a 2 0 loss against Carlisle are on the climb. 21st on the table for them at long last. Meanwhile, Walsall picked up a 3 win over uh, uh, Colchester, who uh, continue to be in trouble. Harrogate with the loss against Northampton Town, of course, climb up to uh, second in the table. Hartlepool picking up a 2 0 draw against Scunthorpe. Lake Norwich picking up a, one there, a 2 1 loss against Crawley. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Master picking up 2 1 win over Salford. Master now, of course, up to 11th in the table. Newport County 2 1 win over Port Vale. Of course, uh, move up to 4th. Port Vale remain in 3rd. But of course, nothing was escaping this game, was it? 5 5 in the end. Forest Green, who are top, Oldham, who were bottom. Uh, I think now that point gets them up above Scunthorpe. Of course, that's the, of course, the state of play there. What about you guys? We'll have a look at you in a minute. In fact, go back here. It's a table, of course. Four points clearance is the vegans over North Northampton Town. Uh, of course, that Port Vale make up the top three. Newport, Exeter, Scott Sutton, and Swindon make up the playoffs at the moment. Meanwhile, down the foot, is Scunthorpe and Oldham going down still. Uh, of course, but it's very, very tight between Carlisle, Steenage as well. So, of course, it's, it could all change, though, this coming week. Uh, but what about the Prediction League? Let's have a look at it. Uh, here we go. Uh, take a look at just a couple of pickaroonies in there. I'm a stringer with five. Do you better go with five as well? So well done to you guys uh, for doing uh, just that. What about the old grand scheme of things? Let's uh, take a little look at it. Uh, here we go then. Uh, the overall grand scheme things look like this. Uh, Nuke, uh, Luke, NTFC, of course, kicking us with 104 points. Yana is in second. And Alex, well, Yoko Jackson are in third. Now, we are at the 22 match uh, point, which would uh, indicate the uh, this one and the next one would be the final two of the first half of the season. So this will be the first half of the season table. We're going to have a second half of the season table. We'll keep updating the uh, the master one, but of course we will only uh, we will only bring that maybe once a month to show you who is actually winning. That that's the one that matters at the end. It's who who's, who's that. But of course we would like to to give some any newbies a chance to get the name in lights. Uh, on, on this so but uh, still got a couple more left on here uh, of course make sure you get your picks in of course using the code cut before just lead two and also you can get yourself one of these badges uh, there's a link in the description it is uh, something for supports the channel supports the local artists as well it's big bad Bob and Diaz of course the face of the place for Rovers face of the place for Chile get in amongst it sexy bit of kit good bit of uh, thick thick uh, attire apparel there to while you while you go through winter wherever you are in the world so make sure you check out the link down below for a fact I'll tell you more about it right here right now before we get going of course i want to showcase this amazing uh hoodie jumper here of course it is or big bad boy broughton dears of blackburn rovers and la rocca fame of course he is a uh, ripping up in the championship these days and of course he could actually kick on uh to either the premier league or maybe even la liga next season now of course we do have these shirts that are available they of course they do support the channel uh and of course they also support local artist ben hayward who did design uh this uh, amazing bit of artwork so if you want to get involved and help the channel in another way and of course support a local artist this is a great place to start there will be a link to this uh hoodie uh in the old description down below you can get it in of course black and white or blue uh and also in of course we've got red 
here. I've actually sold a couple of these bad boys, so a big shout out to the guys that did purchase this. And again, if you think this is a bit too much for yourself or for your other half or for your member of your family, you could also explore a big bad boy Burton Diaz mug. It is out there as well for a little bit uh, a little bit less money there. But of course, it also supports the channel in another way. So please make sure you check it all out. It does wonders for the channel. And of course, uh, it gets the Diaz face out there. It also gets my little face out there. But anyway, let's kick it on with, of course, the next round of picture predictions. Meanwhile, let's kick forward then to, of course, look forward to the next round of match. Kicking on off with Carlisle. They're going to be taking on Bradford, of course, this Saturday. So that's, of course, December the 18th. Played each other 14 times. We've done six, six, uh, eight wins for Carlisle, four wins for Bradford. And I've got two draws. Three wins in the past, uh, six for Carlisle. 50% form up against the Bradford side, who haven't won in the last uh, seven. Uh, of course, picking up four draws in the last six. Anyway, that's the round, of course, over in Carlisle. It was a 3 1 win for Carlisle back in March 2021. Uh, in fact, Carlisle, though, haven't beaten in the last three against uh, Bradford. Meanwhile, Bradford coming in is uh, on the back of a 2 2 draw against Sutton. Carlisle back to win over Stevenage, uh, of course. That's the round. I mean, the bookies odds on this one. Eight is your Brad uh, Carlisle. Seventy to ten is your Bradford. Eleven to five is your draw. I'm going with Bradford here. They need a result and they need one fast. Otherwise, Derek Adams is going to be out of a job. Of course, after last season's phenomenal uh, success with Morecambe. Next, of course, we have Colchester taking on Hartlepool over in uh, Colchester. Now these two sides have played each other. Corner my eyes. Around about eighteen times. So three seven wins for Colchester. The five wins for Hartlepool and six draws. Colchester are winning three now. Fifty percent form for them because the Hartlepool side who haven't beaten the last four pick up three wins and a draw. Uh, meanwhile, last round, well, of course, oh, in Colchester was a two-one win for Colchester. In fact, they're unbeaten against Hartlepool in the last six occasions, picking up a lot of draws along the way. Uh, the last loss was against Hartlepool back in 2011 in League One, might I add. Uh, meanwhile, kicking on forward, of course, Colchester picking up a, 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 a three-nil loss against Walsall last round. In fact, they haven't scored in what in two games. Hartlepool also picking up a nil-nil draw against Scunthorpe. Look at the odds on this one. We have 30 to 20 is your host, 20 to 10 is your draw, and if I was your way, that's Hartlepool on this. Going to go with a win for nobody. One more right down the middle on this. Crawley will take on Oldham. Uh, of course, play each other around about uh, 12 times, 12, four wins to Crawley, six for Oldham, and two draws. Of course, Crawley coming to this, just one defeat in the past five for them, 50% form. I think it's Oldham side, just one win in five for them, 42% form for them at the moment. Of course, last round, Ian Crawley was a 4 1 win for Oldham, that's back in April 2021. Of course, Crawley picking up a 2 1 win over Luton, uh, sorry, Leighton Orient. Meanwhile, Oldham picking up a 5 5 draw against Forest Green. Look at the odds here, we have Crawley 23 20 for the victory, 25 is your waving. That's of course Oldham, and we've got 94 is your draw here. Gonna go with a 2 1 for Crawley, and some Oldham still are shit and are in a bit of trouble. Let's of the vegans taking on uh, in for Mansfield Town. Played each other the corner of my house 20 times since 2008. Five wins for Forest Green, 10 for Mansfield, and uh, five draws. Of course, uh, Forest Green coming just one defeat past six, 75% form. I'm against the Mansfield side, just one defeat past six, 83% form for them at the moment. Of course, last round though, these two sides play each other at uh, Forest Green, was two one win for Mansfield. That was of course back in November 2020. Uh, Mansfield though did uh, uh, pick up a two one win over Salford last round. Forest Green, of course, that 5 5 thriller against Oldham. Uh, the bookies are spotted three on is the vegans, 13 to 5 is your draw, 7 2 is your away when that's Mansfield. We're going to go with the hosts on this one. Tuna win to keep their, of course, fantastic start to the season going. Northampton Town taking on Barra. Of course, they're doing well as well. Plays each other a corner. Maya, I don't know about, it's actually the first occasion. Uh, of course, Northampton coming to this. Uh, unbeaten the last five, 75% form. Uh, in fact, winning four in the bounce oh, against uh, uh, Barra. So just one win and six for them. 33% form. Of course, Harrogate uh, did uh, lose to Northampton last round. Of course, Barra picked up a Tuna win over Swindon. No uh, re recent encounters, of course. Uh, 20 to 17 on is your Northampton. They are favourites. 5 to 2 is your 60 to 5 is your Waving. That's of course a barrow on this. Gonna go with a tuna window for Northampton to take to the house. Port Vale, well, they're gonna be taking on Exeter over at Vale Park. Now these two sides have played each other around about 13 times in 2008. Five wins for Port Vale, seven wins for Exeter, and we've got one draw. Uh three wins in the past six for Port Vale. 50% form up against the Exeter side, just one win in six for them. 25% form for them at the moment. Of course, last round over at Vale Park was a one-in-win for Port Vale. In fact, they've won three in the bounce against Exeter. Uh and back to back clean sheets against them as well. Of course, Port Vale did lose though to Newport County last round. Exeter also lost. Uh, in fact, back to back losses. Uh, of course, uh, to Tramier, though, uh, and Northampton. Meanwhile, in fact, three defeats on the spin. Am I looking at that right? Uh, the form is pretty shitty for Exeter. Just one win in six for them. Uh, of course, uh, the odds here, we have Port Vale 22-20 for the victory. 25 is your win. That's Exeter and 94 is your draw. I'm going to go with the 2-1 win for Port Vale on this. Rochdale will take on Newport County. Got flying high, of course. These two sides have played each other two times. It's 2013, one win apiece. Of course, Rochdale, though, without a win in at least six games. 25% uh, form for them at the moment. Newport County, just one win. In fact, one defeat past six for them. 67% form for them at the moment. Of course, that's the round. Uh, they played each other. They uh, was a, uh, a two. 
a 3 0 win in Scotland. Of course, that was back in October 2013 in League Two. Of course, Rochester coming in on the back of a 4 2 loss against Bristol Rovers. Newport County picking up a 2 1 win over Port Vale. Look at the odds here. We have the odds of 64 is your Rochester. Of course, 95 is your way win. That's Newport County 94 is your draw. It does smell like a draw, but it'll go over the hosts here. Rochester with an upset, a 1 0 win on this one. Soft, but take on Stephen and she's about the S's. Uh, that's right. Of course, play each other four times in 2019. Four wins for Soft, nothing for Stephen and and zero draws. Of course, uh, back to back defeats for Soft at the moment. Uh, 50 percent format because the Stephen side who haven't won in the last five. 32 percent form for them at the moment. Of course, that's around over in Salford. It was 2 1 win for Salford. That's back in April 2021. They've actually won uh, four in the outs against Steelers. Just conceded one goal in the last four as well. Last round, though, of course, Salford picking up a 2 1 loss against Mansfield. Of course, Steelers did lose to Carlisle as well. Look at the odds here. Salford even seems for the victory. 11 to 5 issue draw. And we've got a 3 to 1 issue Steelers on this one. So Salford are your favourites here. 1 0 win for them. And I'll take it to the house on this one. Scott Thorpe United. They were taking on uh, Bristol Bloody Rovers. That's right, down in Scott Thorpe. Now, these two sides have played each other. my eyes around about 10, 15 times. To 2003, six wins to Scott Top, five wins to the Brussels Rovers, and four draws. Scott Top uh, coming into this, uh, just one defeat past six games for them right now. Uh, 42% form, uh, drawing five at five of the last six. Meanwhile, Brussels Rovers coming to this, uh, two wins the past three, 50% form for them as well right now. Last time around, of course, uh, they played each other at Bristol in Scott Top, was the one who went for Bristol Rovers. That was of course, back in March 20, 2019 in League One. Of course, Scott Top uh, picking up a 0 0 draw against Hartpool last round. Of course, Bristol Rovers picking up a 4 2 win over Rochdale. Look at the odds on this one. We do have Scott Top 23 10 for the victory. 9 4 is draw. 65 is your win. That's Bristol Rovers on this. I'm going with a 2 1 win for Barton's boys. Pretty pretty sick of such boy. Of course, he is uh, 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 proved innocent, uh, I guess, from the courts over in England. Sutton, uh, up against Harrogate Town. Of course, uh, these two sides have played each other uh, four times since 2018. Two is a Sutton one for Harrogate and one draw. Sutton coming to this uh, without a win in three. Now 58% form up against a, a, a Harrogate side. Coming to this on back to back defeats, 52% form for them at the moment. Of course, last round in Sutton was a 3 1 win for Sutton. That was back in November 2019 in the National League. Of course, Sutton picking up a 2 2 draw, draw, draw against Bradford. However, did lose to Northampton as well. Uh, coming at you though, the odds 30 to 10 is your Sutton, 21 to 10 is your win. That's how to get 12 to 5 is your draw. 2 1 win for Sutton on this one to take it to the house. Swindon Town up against Walsall. Of course, Swindon are doing eh up against the Walsall side, also doing meh as well. Pleasure 28 times since 1999. Nine wins to Swindon, eight wins to Walsall, and 11 draws. Of course, so when they come to this, just one win in five, and then 42% form. I'm against the Walsall side, just one win in five as well, 42% form as well. Last round over in Swindon was a 2 1 win for four. Swindon, that was back in November 2019 in League Two. Uh, meanwhile, Swindon did lose to Barrow last round. Of course, Walsall picking up a 3 0 win over Colchester. Look at the odds here 11 10. It's just Swindon 5 2 is your win, and that's Walsall on 12 5. It's your draw. Swindon bounce back. Yes, they will. 2 0 win over Walsall. That's right. And then finally, we have Tramier up against Leighton Orient. Let's get into this one now, shall we? Of course, promotion chasers. Uh, Pleasure 23 times in 2006. 10 minutes of Tramier, 9 minutes of Leighton and four draws. Just one defeat past five. Four Tramia, 58% form. Up against the late Norwich side. Uh, coming to just one defeat past three for them. 42% form with them at the moment. Of course, last round over in Tramia was the one to win four late Norwich. That was back in League Two in October 2020. Uh, but of course, heading into this one, uh, Tramia picking up a one to win over Exeter. In fact, back to back clean sheets for Tramia. Of course, uh, late Norwich. Uh, in fact, they just played each other recently in the FA Cup or, or whatever cup this is. Uh, it is the yeah, round two of the FA Cup. Four no winner was for late Norwich over Tramia. Um, wow, wow, be well. Um, later on, coming to this on the back of a 2 1 loss against Crawley. Look at the odds on this one. We have 13 and 8 to Tramia, 70 to 10 show with Leighton Orient and 11 to 5 ish at draw. Uh, Tramia will get a point at this one, so will Leighton Orient. 2 2 right down the middle. That, my friends, is just about that. Be sure to get your picks in, of course, for this one. Cutley Force has lead to get in amongst it. And also, check out the link down below again for the sexy bit of kit, which is the hoodie. You could get yours maybe in time for Christmas if you if you act fast. Uh, for this little sexy bit of kit, Big Bob Robertine Diaz hoodie. Now, I believe this is the probably the last game before the uh for christmas so if i don't catch her have a good christmas let me just double check that uh what are we looking at 18th i think so i think so let me just uh, confirm that so uh please have a good christmas if i don't see you oh yes wow well, sort of i think so I i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say yes because there is there is one game to be played uh between uh this fixtures and the next fixtures it will be forest green against colchester but we'll cover that in the next match uh uh, uh prediction video for the two but that my friends is just about that be sure to give the video some love and smash your thumbs up smash your subscribe have a good christmas and all that kind of stuff also make sure you get that down there check out the links I'm on twitter twitch facebook as well also check out patreon if you really want to support channel another way it's the best place to do it until then guys that is it until then dudes we're done